This is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I'm playing is the Russian IS-3. It's a Tier 8 heavy tank. It's similar to an IS-6. It's got a better gun. It's got better armor. It's a little bit faster. Uh, it's perfect for this map. I do like this tank. I get good games out of it. And it has uh, one of my best crews. If I think it has my best crew in the game. Okay, so um, I usually advance as far as I can. You want to stay a little low because you don't want to have issues with gun depression. So there's a slope up ahead. I'm not going to go up that slope. There is an advantage to being lower on the hill because the tanks that are up here have a little bit more difficulty shooting down there. So it is a little bit better to be down lower. I've got that 12 second reload time. So I have to be careful. I need a place to hide. Got a nice hit out of him. Once it's halfway reloaded, you reverse direction, and you will be reloaded at approximately the time you arrive, ready to fire. So once I'm halfway reloaded, I start moving forward again, but I have to do so slowly. Enemy armor is damaged. Got a couple solid hits. Who knows what that was all about. What, what happened? Oh. That one didn't go through. That's too bad. So I have to advance to get my shots in. A little bit of a hill makes it a little bit difficult. I missed. But I've also got a faster tank than him. So I can easily just breeze right by him. I guess I missed that shot. Okay. Twelve to one. Um, this is not the way I normally play, so I'm not going to get all that experience that I normally get. It's going to go to some other players. I should have advanced further. I didn't expect that my team... Well, maybe it's because there was no enemy there that, that my team obviously went further. Just keep on moving. shot too early, but that's okay. Because I'm likely to ram them. Nope. Well, I don't think I did that well. I Maybe I'll be halfway for the team. We'll see how we did. And it shows you, it's going to show you the difference between having the spotting damage and not having it. 3450, that's okay. So I'm a little bit over the halfway mark. Let's see if I did any spotting damage. Only 200. 
but that's okay. Um, I've got more of my free experience. There is a feature where you can trade that. As you can see, I have 382 free experience, and I'm going to use it for um, this driver here. I'm going to bring him up to 60. Uh, you want your commander to have the most amount of free, uh, the most amount of skill as possible. Uh, I am also going to send these guys to the barracks, and I'm going to prepare them for battle in my IS-6. And while I'm here, I'm going to do one last thing. <clears throat> I'm going to check my service record for my tanks to see which one is actually doing the best. Um, as you can see, the most battles I've had were with the IS-6. It's probably because it was the first premium tank that I purchased. In terms of victories, I know the T-150 is going to be up there. Um, the T-150, the M-6, KV-3, average experience per battle, which is what counts in the game. The T-29, I got the most average experience with the T-29. It was an excellent tank, had a great gun. Um, as you can see, the IS-3 for me is second. The IS-6, the STI, which are the three Russian tanks. <coughs> Excuse me. And the T-29 is a lower tier tank than the ones that come below it. But my IS-3 is uh, the second highest for average experience. Um, you look over here where it says enemy vehicle spotted 1.7 and enemy vehicles destroyed. Well, the enemy vehicle spotted 1.7. For me, it's a very high number. Uh, damage caused with your assistance, 439. I probably have higher numbers in those two areas than most other players. And also damage received. I tend to have a very high number for damage received. But that's what keeps my experience high. Okay, so... um. That is the IS-3. If you have any questions, please post them below.